Hello everyone, Shadefire here, and welcome back to Let's Play Parasite Eve. This is episode 5, and we are still in Central Park. We are in pursuit of Eve after we couldn't stop her from turning the whole audience of the concert, who were too stupid to live, into Jello. And now she has floated off, and we are hoping to catch her on foot. Um, I'm trying to remember if I actually missed a spot back here. I don't think I did. Because we went over the bridge, we went under the bridge. So I think we're good. Yeah, because this is where the polar bear fight is. Or one of the polar bear fights. Um, how much XP do we need? 65. I'm wondering if we can get actually one more level here before moving on. I think the trigger is like right here. Yeah, so... Actually, this wasn't the polar bears, this was the plants. There was a bunch of plants up here, yeah. So, because we're still actually in the same area, loading a save does not reset the encounter rate. As far as I'm aware. I don't know if there's, like, detailed documentation on how exactly the encounter rates work. Because there's a lot of things, I think, in this game that aren't really things it tells you. Which is not uncommon for old PS1 games to be, you know, systems in play that you don't actually really know about. Alright, so we actually stopped here before a boss fight. Remember those giant worms that were mentioned on that one sign? Well, there are four of them. Ah, the boss fight music is just so good. So these guys are pretty easy. They shoot out those little balls that shoot out spikes. Another weird thing you'll probably see here is when they go underground when I still have them targeted, she'll try to shoot the ground where they are. And sometimes if they come back out, she'll like flip around and shoot the one that comes out of the ground behind you. But yeah, very easy to avoid their attacks. Our range is a bit of a problem here because even with the rifle range, this arena is bigger than what we can hit. But we have a lot of range here, so not really a big deal. What we don't have is a lot of health. Okay, so we got one of them. I don't think I have any Cure 2s left, or Medicine 2s. One thing that's kind of annoying is when you need to heal, but you don't have any good heals left. You just kind of waste, like, multiple turns healing. What I could use here is slow, but there are three of them, so I'd have to cast it three times for it to be fully effective. But I think it might actually keep them out of the ground longer. It's really not a good spot to stand. You kind of want to wait for them to do their attack before shooting. And there's another one. You notice, too, that they are getting bigger every time we kill one and their attacks get faster. Yeah, it might actually be better here to only do one shot. Okay, I gotta heal, because I am about to die again. Really can't wait till we unlock heal two. We, oh, we do have heal, too. Alright. So another thing I didn't mention is... The PE meter actually recharges slower the more times you use it in one fight. So you can't just, like, spam PE powers. Otherwise, you're gonna have to wait a really long time to use them. Okay, there we go. I couldn't remember what uh, key it was to you know, only do one shot instead of two, but it is square. And so it's out of range. See, I have a lot harder time dodging these ones, especially because this guy is right in the middle. Okay, we got the third one. So now the boss actually changes up its pattern. 
and gets very large. I'm not really sure why they're getting bigger. Or if it's just a perspective thing that they're coming out of the ground more. We have to actually get pretty close to hit this guy. Oop. Yeah, kind of hard to avoid that. So now it might be worth using slow. Except it's going to take him longer to come out of the ground again. I don't know if there's a really good way to avoid his attacks at this point. I guess if I stay in the middle, I can, you know, kind of hope he swipes the opposite way. That he swipes left instead of right. And you can see my PE is charging pretty slowly now because I've used a couple spells. Oh, man. I don't remember having a lot of trouble with this boss. But I might have done a little more leveling in my typical playthroughs than I did here. Ah, oh, I was hoping if I did one shot, I'd be able to avoid it. I wonder if he can attack down here. Oh, well, never mind. Didn't actually have that much more health. Well, two levels. That's how you can tell I should have done a little bit more grinding that I got two levels out of the boss. Okay. We got Barrier. I don't remember Barrier being super useful, but again, it does mean that you take MP damage instead of health damage. some more plus one defense. All right, melt that vest into my current vest. And we did get some bonus points. Put some of those into active time and one more item capacity. So our inventory is a decent size now. Um, hi, Eve? Were you expecting me? Also that horse, man. It's really weird that that horse is part of the background and not, like, its own model. It's just a really low-res animated gif. Your genes are stronger than I thought. Come, my dear, let's go for a ride. Ha 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 ha! Like, was she expecting us not to get past the worms? Is that why she's talking about us having strong genes? And you can see there that Eve's ability to set things on fire must be a selective ability, because the horse did not mutate. She simply set it on fire instead. Why? Why be on the human side? Why not? I'm a human. Good answer. Why are you going with them and not me? Floating mitochondria monster. We could be Final Fantasy bosses together. What? <laughs> Eve, that's such a stupid question, I don't know what to say. So, now we get another boss fight. The thing is with Eve, you will usually fight her after fighting another boss. We do have a lot of health now. But not a lot left.
And as you can see, the arena is the size of this carriage, so there's very little room to avoid her attacks. But her attacks are not very hard to avoid. As long as you go to the opposite side from where that blast comes down, you're alright. It's actually harder to avoid her claw. Wait till she goes up. Nope. Move out of the way. She'll only do the claw if she gets close to you. But yeah, thankfully Eve is usually not a particularly difficult boss compared to whatever the area boss is. Since I did kind of use all my healing items. I think I hit her. Okay, I'm not sure where a good spot to avoid that would have been. Let me switch to my handgun for dialogue purposes. It seems you still don't know who I am. Well, you're Eve, aren't you? Well, if you don't know, your mitochondria will. That's why you were drawn to the opera. Also, this flaming horse can run for a long time without crumbling. What are you talking about? Aya is still very confused. Here, let me explain. Directly. Oop. Stop touching me with your gross, weird hands. Well, first they put her in one bed, but then they put her in the other bed to see how it affected their experiment. How long do you think he's been standing there just yelling at the entrance to the park? Oh, by the way, Ben's not Jello. Ben, weren't you going to the concert? I, I came here with Mom, but she, she was all weird. She was like, look at that floating monster on the stage. That's cool, isn't it, honey? What do you mean, Ben? I came with Mom so the three of us could be together. So that's why you came to get me. Mom went to the stage, but she freaked out. She melted. What do you mean, Mom freaked out? I got near the stage and started to feel sick. I wanted to go home. Mom wasn't herself, Dad. She left and everyone else went too. Lorraine. Casualties were much worse this time. Was there really more people at that concert than there were in the opera house? It didn't really look like that big of a crowd. We cannot put the lives of citizens in jeopardy any longer. We have orders to evacuate all citizens out of Manhattan. Fortunately, most people are out of the city for Christmas. I, I don't think I have a voice for him yet. What do we do, sir? We will stay and assist in neutralizing Eve. Shouldn't we leave it to the army? We're the ones that are supposed to be protecting the city. Any word from Aya? And again, there was absolutely nobody in the streets during this carriage sequence. You know, like New York. Where could she be? Daniel, I need you to help evacuate the citizens. She's our only hope against this thing now. 
I'm gonna go look for her. Shouldn't we stop him, sir? He's lost the rain. He'll find Aya. You two help with the evacuation. Voice actor, I am not. Hey look, it's Kathy. I guess you do see her more often than I remember. I have to go find Aya. Aya. Where'd she go? I don't know, but she's the only one that can fight the thing that hurt your mommy. Kath, look after the kid, will ya? I will, don't worry. I don't, I don't know what Kathy would sound like. I'm also not really sure what she does, because she always seems to just be in the hallway. Come on, sport. You like dogs? I'll introduce you to the best police dog in town. You notice how now there's only one, but there were two before? Can I show this boy the dog? Sure, let me open the fence. Hey, you got a visitor. Here in doggy prison. This is Shiva. Oh, that's her. Whoops. That guy also has the same mustache as all the other generic unnamed cops here. Hey, I think she likes you. <laughs> that tickles. Meanwhile, in the middle of the night, Manhattan is evacuated. It really seems like they managed to evacuate the city much more quickly than you actually would be able to. A lone skate abandoned on Christmas Day. How many times do I gotta tell ya? Again, a trio of mustached cops with identical mustaches. Well, the guy on the left does have a different color, because he's a different model. We've blocked this off. You won't even find a cat on this street. I told you, I've already contacted the police about this matter. What? Uh, uh, I'm not getting anywhere with my English. Hey, you Chinese? No, I'm Japanese. Nanda, Nihonjin Desuka. Oh, yes, can you speak Japanese? I'm not really going to try to pronounce that. Totodake ne. Tere desu ka? I am Kunohaka Maeda. Uh, Japanese, uh, uh. Ano. Hey, if you can't speak the language, go back to your country. Heh. <laughs> he. Uh, Calm down. Take it easy, man. It's bad for your heart. Uh, uh, I'm getting. I'm. I'm hot. Help! I guess it's now or never. The thing is, Maeda doesn't look like he would have a voice that deep, so I don't know why I'm doing that voice. Spontaneous human combustion. I believe that's correct. Strange Japanese man sneaks into suburban neighborhood. Well, police officer bursts into flame. Now, I'm not sure why that cop just, like, spontaneously combusted, but none of the other three did. Like, you would think that means that Eve is nearby, but none of the others were affected. Where? Hospital? Evil hospital.
Oh, you are finally awake. Who are you? I'm Kunohiko Maeda. I'm a scientist from Japan. He found you. Is this just some like random slum house that I might have broke into? Daniel. There's no one out there but cops. It's a ghost town. Also, a flaming barrel probably should not have that in the center of a room. That's usually something you put outside. Never seen anything like it. Pretty creepy, if you ask me. I don't know, Daniel. It was like that when we were driving through the city last night. Where's Eve? What happened to the people in Central Park? Ben was okay, but... The rest of the audience, well, they just disappeared. Disappear? You mean they weren't ignited? They all melted into slime and became one big mass. That's something new. Nothing like that happened in Japan. Japan? A similar incident occurred several years ago in Japan. Which would be, of course, the original Parasite Eve. Although it wasn't as grandiose in scale as this one. What? <laughs> hey, give us the deets! It all started when a scientist's wife was involved in a car accident. The scientist tried to culture her liver cells in order to keep her alive. The scientist named those cells Eve. Eve? The liver cells multiplied and her mitochondria eventually took over her physical body. After acquiring the scientist's sperm, Eve tried to give birth to an ultimate being. Ultimate being? What kind of being? Well, an ultimate one. She, the being who mutated from the liver cells, couldn't maintain her body for long. By the way, before the car accident occurred, the wife had registered to have her organs donated. Just in case you needed to know. So after the accident, her kidneys were transplanted into a young girl. And Eve implanted a fertilized egg into the young girl who gave birth to... An ultimate being! I was extremely interested in this and went to the lab so that I can continue research. After hearing about this incident, I had to fly over here. What the hell is going on here? I wish I could explain more. Hi, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I thought that monster had gotten a hold of you. Well, she did touch me on the head. Thought it was too late. When I felt Eve, something inside of me felt like it was being. You felt like you were about to be ignited, correct? No, she's... well, she's the only one that isn't affected. What? I... I don't understand. I think I might be a monster. <laughs> I like how many different versions of this track there are in the game. Really dig the piano. Yes, I understand your point. Hey, where do you think you're going?
And all along we have this chest tempting me to open it. Even if I am a monster, I don't ever want to kill you, Daniel. Please. I... I can never forgive myself if I killed you and orphan your son. I... You're no monster. You're my best partner. Aya Brea. I'll be by your side always, Aya. Aya. I don't know why I keep saying it both ways. It's like I can't make up my mind. When I touched Eve, that feeling, was it Maya? But Maya died in a car crash with Mom. No, it just couldn't be. Well, better curl up in these filthy sheets. <laughs> in this random slum house we found. Day 3. Selection. Well, I know I said it wasn't going to always end on the end of a day, but I think this is actually a good amount of time from when we started the episode, so next time, we'll find out what we're going to do about Eve now that the city's been evacuated. And where that jello got off to. Until then, take care, everybody. <laughs>